In this video, I'm gonna give you a masterclass on depth of injection for botulinum toxins. This is where most injectors actually go wrong, and it's actually not the thing that's taught in most day courses. We focus on where to inject, but not how deep. In every area of the face, you will get subtly different results depending on the depth. By understanding depth, you'll be empowered to inject more accurately, get more predictable results, and fewer side effects. There's a key stage in your path to success where you suddenly stop thinking about injection points and you start to know how risk and reward changes with every shift in angle, depth, and position of your needle. And that's when you suddenly become free to just create the results you wanna create because you are automatically guided. Let me share with you what goes through my mind at different injection depths while I'm injecting botulinum toxins and how it guides me to optimize my treatment results. What's the right depth to inject the orbicularis oris muscle? If you inject very superficially, you're in the dermis. It's also a very sore place to increase the pressure. Intradermal injections with toxin will sting. Go a little bit deeper, they hurt a little bit less. And that's usually where I try and inject. On the surface of the muscle, where the receptors are likely to be, or potentially slightly deeper. But if you keep injecting deeper still, you're gonna squirt botulinum toxin into a patient's mouth. And that's a waste of money. The next area is the depressor angularis oris. This muscle pulls the corner of your mouth down. It's also layered in a particular way with the depressor labii muscle. If you don't know which is which, you'll soon find out when your patient comes back unhappy when you've hit the depressor labii muscle and not hit the depressor angularis oris. So we need to first establish the position of injecting, which I do by feeling for the lateral aspect of the contracted depressor angularis oris muscle here. But the next thing is to know about the depth. Have a look at this model and you can see how the depth relates to the depressor labii muscle. The most superficial muscle is the depressor angularis oris. And this is typically where I like to inject. However, if you go deep to it, particularly if you're inferior, you may go straight through and hit this muscle instead, the depressor labii muscle. Depressor labii pulls your mouth open when you smile. Depressor angularis oris only pulls the corner of your mouth down. So what you get if you go too deep and too medial is that you no longer smile properly in the medial part of the lip. Some people call this the Popeye smile because one side of the mouth moves and the other one doesn't and it causes a very obvious asymmetry. In terms of depth, we go through the dermis, through the hypodermis and then stop, not going all the way through to the level of the periosteum. Of course, you need to carefully assess this depending on the size of the superficial fat pad above this muscle. Next time you're injecting, pay attention to the level that you're at. Start to think with high resolutions and this is key to becoming a much more proficient and confident injector by understanding what is going on, where your needle tip is likely to be residing, and therefore how you can optimize it with different depths, angles, or techniques, or doses. This is one of the core elements of becoming really confident with botulinum toxins. If you wanna really master botulinum toxins, make sure you see the link in this bio where I have a comprehensive training program that covers everything from starting out all the way through to mastering full face advanced treatments.